Sticking with the Halloween theme, the Squirrel Cage Jail is one of the scariest places in Council Bluffs. Every Halloween, the Historical Society gives tour of the jail that claims paranormal activity. Will this be the year somebody sees a ghost? IWTV student Daniel Ziegler has more from the Flashlight Tours. As the sun sets October 28th, the Squirrel Cage Jail turns out its lights. Just turning the lights out here really ups the spooky having it at night. The Potawatomi Historical Society leads its annual flashlight tour of the jail. We take smaller groups through and give them the haunted history of the jail versus when you come in during the daytime and we're giving you a lot of the history of the jail without the haunted part. The 131 year old jail turned historical landmark has had its share of hauntings. And obviously with uh, the different uh, paranormal groups that come through here, there's been a lot of uh, activity that they've found uh, here in the jail. It's supposed to be one of the most haunted buildings in Council Bluffs. The Squirrel Cage Jail was built in 1885. Okay, Council Bluffs, when, when the Cottonwood Jail burned down, they were holding inmates in the basement of the courthouse. They had to do something about it. They took bids in on, on different jails. This came in at the low bid. It's a three-level rotating jail, and it has a nickname of the Squirrel Cage Jail because it looks like a squirrel cage flipped on its side in there. The Historical Society explains why it's important to keep buildings like these open. Oh, this is the most amazing building in the Midwest. They built 18 rotary jails in the country. They only built one three-story rotary jail, and we have it. They even expressed plans to restore the rotary cells to working order. Uh, we would love to, at some point, be able to still put it back in use so that you can see what it was like when you can actually turn those cells. To me, that would be a goal of mine to see what the building would look like when it was in use in the 30s and the 40s and the 50s. I want the cells to look like basically the inmates just stepped out. This is your CBTV News with Daniel Ziegler.